Yamaha has an awful lot of Sidewinder turbo snowmobiles for model year 23. In fact, Yamaha has so many Sidewinder turbo models, even we can't keep track of them. So here's what we're gonna do. We're going to review the Sidewinder LTX SE 137 with the turbocharged 998cc triple under hood. We do admit that we just tested the Sidewinder LTX LE, which is an upscale accessorized model just last year. So what is the difference and what is the rationale behind Yamaha offering two 137 inch LTX models, one as an LE and one as an SE? Well, we're gonna try and explain that to you. Here's the difference though. The LE has a custom front bumper, it has a mid-height windshield, it has a heated seat, it has a much bigger custom storage bag, and it has upscale QS3 shocks. So the difference is in a lot of bolt-on or add-on accessories that you could go to your Yamaha dealer after purchasing this SE model, and you could add all of those or some of those or none of those, you could add and make your SE more or less an LE. It is a little confusing to have these two separate models come from the factory, one fully accessorized and one not. However, it does give the purchaser more options in a marketplace where prices are escalating because of inflation and the selection of snowmobiles has been really tough to get what you want at your dealer. So you can make your choices at your dealer and you can save some MSRP on this SE model. So if you wanted to ask me a question about this snowmobile, it might go something like this. Hey, Mark at Snow Tracks TV, are you telling us the real deal, the truth, that the motor is exactly the same in an SE as an LE? Yes, I am telling you the truth. And here's the description. It's the Genesis three-cylinder turbocharged and intercooled 998cc four-stroke mill. This motor, and let's just pull the sheets off this once and for all, okay? It's 200 horsepower. I mean, we've been giggling and Yamaha's been giggling. Nobody around our top secret world headquarters doubts that this thing puts out 200 horsepower. So what are you getting with an SE? You're getting the same driveline, same clutches. You're getting the same rear suspension, only a damper change. So let's talk a bit about the rear suspension. The LTX 137 SE and LE for that matter, have their 137 inch tracks for a very special purpose. These are not off trail snowmobiles with the 137 1.25 lug track. These are on trail snowmobiles that take advantage of the mogul bridging effect of a 137 inch track over a 129. And so what you've got here is, is you've got a slightly uh, lengthened version of the sliding front arm skid. Let's talk about that. Your front torque arm on the uh, 137 and the 129, what they call SR skid frame, is in a yoke and it moves back and forth freely as the skid's front arm goes up and down. But when it hits a big bump and couples on the rear coupler blocks, it locks the yoke against the torque arm bracket in the front, right, right down where your ankles are on the side of the tunnel. It locks that up and then it becomes coupled so it can handle the big bumps without bottoming out. I know some of our viewers kind of think that we've got the best job in the world, and we actually do, because we get to ride all the latest, coolest stuff, and then give you our opinion on it. So here's something I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give you sort of an inside rationale on how we think this SE LTX model can maybe answer the call of helping offset the rather large increase in MSRPs we're seeing. So here's the thought, because the LTX SE is downscale, doesn't have all of the accessories on it that the LE does. Because of that, it has a lower MSRP. Now, don't get mad at me. Yes, the MSRPs are up, but if you're looking to save a few dollars and to get value for your money, then the SE may be the sled for you to buy if you're looking for a 137 Sidewinder Turbo. Obviously, you can add any of the LE parts throughout the period of ownership that you have with the sled and accessorize it to your heart's content. We don't doubt that there's a certain segment of our viewership that just isn't tracking with this whole high value thing on a snowmobile that's priced as high as a turbocharged Yamaha. Frankly, we completely understand that and know what you mean. However, on the other hand, there is always a segment of the marketplace who's looking for the most value for their money. And in our opinion, the LTX 137 SE does exactly that. 
It gives more value for your money in a class that is not low scale, but very upscale.